Welcome back, my dark beings. Due to the top of the F news. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Man, it always happens when I'm about to make a video. What the heck? How does my stomach know that I'm about to freaking make a video? Seriously, what the heck? Okay, whatever. But back on topic. Uh, yes, welcome back to WTF News. And you saw the title video and... Oh my gosh, what the heck? What is happening? What is happening now? What is freaking happening? Oh my gosh. Alright, so... I've seen this. Uh, it's just... Come on. Why? Why? What is happening? We don't want to attack about. Also, plus this is the... Should I consider this anime and gaming? I guess I can because at this point, basically, even people... Even everyone else is playing. Since both sides are still playing. Do you know, anime and gaming, be done with it because it's it's literally a danger to everybody if this succeeds. But, yes, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Act recently Activision... Asian has decided to uh, add cosmetics with stats on them, which is hilarious because I recently saw a video, uh, a live video, of someone saying that these shouldn't be in the game, and yet these are happening in the game. And that was from another game. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Really, it is. It's funny how ironic that I saw that and now I'm seeing this. And also, if you want any information on this, I saw this video. Uh, it's go, sorry, I just woke up. My brain is like out of right now. Uh, the source is Yong Ye, so he will have all the information for you. He does it better than me. I'm just uh, letting you guys know. As always, WTF News is about spreading the word. It's not about me taking any credit here. It's just about me helping spread the word here. But, yeah. Way too, yeah, and I saw this video yesterday, and I still know what it's talking about. Usually I watch a video the next day to get information, but I don't really need to do that. Because this is, because we can all agree, cosmetics are good. Whether you say that, oh, it's, you pay for them or not, that's on your own ideals. But the fact of the matter, cosmetics are still good for you to just earn, which I wish you can earn, but not anymore. Oh, these days you have to pay for them. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. These days you have to pay for them, which sucks. But now Activision wants to make stats payable. Trying to make cosmetics payable items. So that you can get pay to win cosmetics. Cosmetics that you just unlock. So you can win in a game. No, it's no, no, it's true. No, it's true. Basically, for example, gives you a UAV or even more, uh, basically more, uh, what was it? Uh, I had more slots in your set and your set. And I'm gonna say this now is an idiotic thing, it shouldn't be in the game at all. And cosmetics should be cosmetics only. Cosmetics only and should never be used as a way to basically put stats on. No. No. I mean, seriously. And you can say that it, you can see this is pay to win because, like I said, UAV is a big boost because you know what UAVs are. They reveal parts of the map or the entire part of the map. I have not played Call of Duty, but I can tell, but I have played other games that use. A method of sorts to reveal parts of the map. All right, so I can at least know what I at least know what kind of thing it is. It's a radar, basically, if I remember. Uh, and also, like I said, backpacks to give you extra because this is basically I think DMZ is where it is, which somehow is alive for uh, I don't know some reason. But yeah, DMZ basically is basically if I remember like a ro if I can compare it to a roguelike when if you basically finish the game or if you die you just <sighs> so like I said I just woke up, but when you just uh which you either you know die and you start over and you lose your items or you succeed and you basically start over from the beginning I think. I can't, I, like I said, I don't know the process of DMZ, but I think it's when either you die or you win, when you, it's basically a roguelike and you start over from the beginning. 
And basically, if you have a cos Zero Cosmetic, which it shows in the video of Young Yeah's video, it shows you that you can get a backpack cosmetic you uh, or some cosmetic. I don't know what what cosmetic, any cosmetic, I guess, which is bad. And you can basically get an advantage by getting a medium backpack because you're supposed to start from small again. But you get a medium backpack, and guess what? You basically have an advantage to get more items. Which, of course, you can say it's not pay to win, but it's pay to win. Because that gives you advantage against other people. And this game significantly to get more items. Which is idiotic that cosmetics are now being used as stats building. Which, of course, Activision knows they want to basically push the board, the line here. They've already done it before. I mean, loot boxes are a thing. I mean, seriously. Loot boxes are a thing, game passes are a thing, and unfortunately they're trying to get cosmetics into a thing, which is, idi like I said, is idiotic, and seriously, that should not be in the game at all. To me, if it's in a single player game, I don't really care, Air because it's a single player game, and you can earn those in the game, and don't pay them with real money at all. In game, in single player, where you can earn them. And you can transmog them. Like another game does that. Which is Monster Hunter. But you can earn the stuff by going after monsters. And basically hunting them. And then gain those parts to transmog your items. Because if you want like a certain stat. You can just transmog them. And just change those items. Or you can get a skin. In just for a skin. Which, uh, or, you can, you, you, or you can get a skin by paying money for that. But like I said those ones are like accession because those are actually in game and you can earn them there's some skins in the game you can earn so basically i seriously what the heck those are basically earnable games there's some that's not earnable i think there's like one skin in the game that's not earnable but everything else if you play the events you can earn those skins and basically get them in the game literally monster Hunter has a transmog system and you can do this in single player game. You don't have to be multiplayer. You can earn them in the game without paying for anything. Like I said, I think there's only one item in the game that you can get a skin. I think there's two items. That they're just skins, but exactly. They don't and what's even more is they, they don't give you any stat boost. They just give you skins. Unlike Activision that wants to make cosmetics with abilities on them. Yeah, no, and it's what is even worse is in the multiplayer game, so it's even worse. Seriously, Activist is trying to be, trying to make it so this is normalized, which thankfully everybody could be in the Call of Duty community is basically fighting against this because this should not be in the game. Nobody wants this in the game, and nobody wants to have this advantage in the game. Now, of course, there are some people who do want it, but those are the loyalists, and those are willing to pay money on them, so don't listen to them. I'm glad there are loyalists in there, but those are guys that are corrupted loyalists, so don't listen to them. But... The fact is, I don't want this to be normalized because I know that if this is normalized, this will get other companies to see, oh, hey, this is good. I want this to put in my game, and I want this to put in my game, and so on and so forth. It will spread like a virus, and uh, it, uh, yes, it will spread into, it will spread like a, when I mean virus, I mean computer virus, you know, computer virus. You know, you know, I can still say that, right? Right? Computer virus, right? I don't know anymore. YouTube is weird. But yeah, it'll just spread around and it'll just basically make every other company think that this is a good idea, which I do not want to have. I don't want to like start playing my game and find out that this kind of thing exists and that I can't even get my cosmetics and I have and my cosmetics are like tainted with a pay to win mechanic. No, I just want to get cosmetics. In fact, like I said, I would rather Play in my normal skin, then have to deal with this. I'm not joking. Any game that has cosmetics that will have this, I will literally play in my skin. Heck, I don't even care about the cosmetics as much. I literally play a game to play. I don't really care about cosmetics. If there's a game that I'm able to get these cosmetics all right and earn them through gameplay, all right. But not the. But no. All right. That's why I think about cosmetics. But if they put stats on them, then no, no, no. No, I'm not. No, I'm never gonna play that kind of game. I'd rather play any other game, ain't that had a, a, a 
like I'd rather play a bad game that with bad cosmetics than play a game that has cosmetics that lets you basically win in the game that have abilities on them. No, I no, I am not playing that kind of game. No, literally, unless it's an armor set, I'm not dealing with that. Like I said, armor sets I base that have stats on them. That's the thing. That's what you should be playing for. That's the kind of thing you should be playing for. That's the whole point of an armor set. Cosmetics should not have any reason to have anything on them. The only thing I think is that it should be in a, multi in a single player game. That's the only time where I think that kind of thing is because I can use them. I can at least and that has a transmog system. Now, this is my thing that... Like I said, I play Monster Hunter once, and there is a transmog system in the Monster Hunter World version. I don't know about the Monster Hunter Rise version. I haven't, I haven't started playing that yet. But the Monster Hunter World version, I have played. And, it do, and they eventually did get a transmog system, which should have been in the game in the beginning. But they at least got it. And those things are armor sets that I got them. Only armor sets, and I was able to transmog them once I earned the pieces from monsters to transmog them. To earn them to basically become skins. They're not like armor sets. They're basically skins that I earn. Uh, it, it's pretty hard to explain. To me, it is plain. I haven't used it. But in that game, I'm able to earn the pieces and basically unlock a skin to put it over the armor set. To make that armor set a whole again, you know, like if I wanted, uh, what was it, like a certain, uh, what was it, like a, like a, uh, no, I can't say that name, it's hard, uh, what, it's been a while since I talked about monster, uh, about the monsters in that world, uh, for example, Barbaron, or, I can't remember the monster's names, but t t any kind of monster in the game has this, that has me do, like, transmog a skin onto the, my armor set, I can't do that. So, it doesn't matter. So, if, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, for example, if I have an armor set, because I have a tank build, a pure tank build in the game. Like, I basically made it so that I have healing, I have healing items, I have an immortal thing that lets me heal, I have basically a tanky set, and it's all a mishmash of different parts on it. But, if I wanted to, I could go earn the... I can go off and go fight monsters, earn the pieces from them, like hunt them and continue and get the certain amount of, you know, pieces of craft meat here and go to the, uh, whoever does the uh, crafting of skins and transmogs, go to that person and basically make a new skin for my armor set. So that way I'm able to make it like at least one style, like for example, uh, Barbados? No, uh, Barbaros? Uh, something, I can't remember. Kushal, like, like, for example, Kushal de Order. I don't know if that one's a skin. Kushal de Order, I think that's what his name is. Let me know in the comments. And I, if I wanted to, I would need to hunt that monster down multiple times. And I think there's a stronger version, so I would need to hunt that stronger version down. Just to get some pieces. And then I can go to Smithy, I think, as that's where it is. And then basically use those pieces in order to get the different skins, uh, for skins for my uh for myself. That way I can put them on my, a uh, character, and that way my armor set is still underneath there, but above it it's a skin. Get it? Basically, that's what I think should be. I, basically, it's a transmog system. I'm trying to explain it, but I just look up a video. It'll help, it, the transmog system, Monster Hunter World. What, I, it's hard for, for me to explain. I don't know how to explain for Jack. Explaining is not my forte. I mean, if you've seen any of my tutorial videos, it's not my forte. All right. But like I said, that's the only thing I think. It needs to be in a single player. That it basically, it's not a cosmetic because, like I said, it's just a skin that I can use. I have an armor set. And if I want to get a skin, all I need to do is earn them in game. Like I said, the event during the events of Monster Hunter, I literally went to every event, I earned every skin in the event, and I put them over my uh, Monster Hunter character it, with when I had an armor set on. Get it? I know I, I'm I, I'm confusing here, but it's not my forte.
That's the only thing I can compare. It. That's the only thing I can say. Like I said, in those skins, and there are armor sets in the game that you can earn both an armor set and a cosmetic version. Like if you say that there was a Dante's uh, version where you can earn the armor, which doesn't give you great stats. It, some of them skins do give you great stats, but those are just armor sets. Unfortunately, you have to have the entire piece or else it doesn't work. But yeah, they're basically there. But you can also earn the skin as well. So I was able to play as Dante in the game. Even though I had an armor set underneath that skin. Which is great. Basically, I can play as Dante while having a, my pure tank build underneath. I think they had the skin thing. I can't remember. Let me know down below. But yeah, that's basically Monster Hunter. That's how I'm going to describe it again. In single player, cosmetics shouldn't be... Actually, they should not have any stats at all. No matter what. Doesn't matter. No matter what. I was thinking about I should do... Is unless, as long as it's a single player game, but no, no, I'm changing my thing. No, cosmetics should never have a skin. Basically, Alex and Angry Joe's uh, eh, from Angry Joe basically said cosmetics should not have any stats, and I agree with him. I agree with him. I used to think that cosmetics sh it should be a, oh, all right, it's all right, have a skin, it should have a stat thing, but no, should not. No, I no, I don't agree with that. They script stats. No, I don't agree with Alex. I mean, I don't agree that stats should be, at any point, be having any cosmetics things on it. No cosmetics should have stats. Armor sets, that's the whole point. You should have stats on armor sets. And if you can earn the skin, you can put it over your armor set to make it look like a cosmetic. Alright? And if you want to purchase a cosmetic, alright, to put over your, your armor set, alright. But, like I said, Monster Hunter World allows you to earn skins by mo fighting monsters, monsters, which is cosmetics, to get onto your armor set. So that way you don't look like a walking, uh, a mishmash of pieces on it. That's what should be. Activision wants you to pay for cosmetics so you can get stats on them. For pay to win. That is not what it should be. I want to earn my skins... I don't want to have any cosmetics to have any stats on them. I don't want to pay for stats. Ads. I don't want to look good just so I can have stats on them. I pay, I'm sorry, I play games to have cosmetics. So I can have them on my character. Or ch character. I don't pay, I don't play a game to get stats on a cosmetic. It is literally a serious issue right now. Now, I know this part just went into a rant, and like I said, I'm not good at explaining things. I'm terribly bad at explaining things, so you could, so if you skip that entire part, then so be it. But I'm just telling you this now, that I should not have to play a game to basically get a cosmetic that's going to give me stat boost and advantage of the game. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it should be. I should be getting a cosmetic so I can earn it in the game and play it and show it off. Not to basically have a stat advantage. That is only for armor sets. Only armor sets. I said, seriously, if Call of Duty wanted to do armor sets, they should have done armor sets. And even then, it's still bad because then they would find a way to microtransaction that one. But either way, that, no matter what, we should not allow this. We should be, basically, thankfully, the community of Call, the community of Call of Duty is basically... They looking at this and actually are against this. They're fighting against this, and I'm glad that they are because they know this is just a pay to win weekend and this is unfair. And they and cosmetics should not have any stats on them. And I hope when they roll this out that they get so little money that they get so much backlash that this never succeeds. Because you have to realize it doesn't matter how much you go against this kind of thing, if you still pay for it. Basically, all the things we say will be mute. You gotta remember, they only care about money. They don't care about the backlash because, as they know, as long as you, as long as the community pays for it, it does not matter. Literally, it does not matter. Also, plus, I already have a sibling that keeps getting pissed off every five seconds because he keeps losing video games and it's freaking and it's Call of Duty anyway. So 
I already have to deal with that. So if you think I want to deal with that every every time he loses a game against a player that has cosmetics, you say, yeah, no. Also, no, I can put my hat. I can put literally my hat in the in the ring and say that I have actual proof that it is annoying me, because my younger sibling literally gets pissed and screams and slams his cha my chair every five seconds, and nobody in the family gives a f about this. Is except when they get it's a night for some reason because they keep it, making an excuse of oh we have neighbors no that doesn't matter considering how everybody else doesn't considering how certain points of my time in this a year certain family gets gets on the like I drink and there's let's just say it gets out of control so like I said one day I'll reveal all the dark secrets one day but not today but I, it's just no. I can throw my hat in the ring that I have a family that makes so much noise in this house because it keeps losing in the battle. And you think I want to hear that whenever he loses to another player that has stats on his cosmetics? Yeah, no, I don't want to hear that. No. And I bet you every person has a family that does that also doesn't want to deal with this as well. I already got enough with that already. It's annoying as heck. And I can't even sleep on my... And plus, when I'm sleeping, I like to sleep on my floor when he's playing his games. Yeah, no, no. Sometimes when he starts me, I wake up. It disturbs my nap. Yeah, so I can't throw my hand in the ring for that. And my leg is sleeping. Come on. Ah, my leg. Oh, so yeah, that's my two cents on the situation on the cosmetic thing. Cosmetics should be only cosmetics. No stats. Cosmetics only with no advantage. I just want to look good. I don't want to have a vantage with cosmetics that is not what should happen single player has cosmetics that you earn in game and they have no uh, advantages in there like I said monster hunter has a tra has one trap has box system where I earn my cosmetics and plus has events that I earn to get my items in the game all right I know it's a weird thing to put Monster Hunter here and try to say that that's the good thing, but i rather play, but at least that way I earn my skins and they don't have any cosmetic things. And plus, I can put them over my armor set to make me look like another armor set. Alright? I can be, I can look like Dante, I can look like Ryu, I can look like Megan, no, that's for my kitty. I can look like, uh, what is it, Geralt, and I can look like Siri in the game. Why? Because I can earn those skins in the game by fighting monsters. They don't have any stats. And I think that is how you should have a game where you can earn your cosmetic skins and for your armor sets. For yourself, for your armor sets. Alright? No stats involved. Now, like I said, no, we have to be on top of this. Cosmetics should never have any sort of advantage. Like I said, if they wanted to, they should have put armor sets in the game if they wanted to go full on if wanted to do that. But no, they know they don't want to do it because it ruins the character's looks, which hurts, which I understand that. You don't want to do that. Of course, you just leave your game alone. Activision, leave your game alone. Just let it be. Just let your community play the game and you are earning money for just people playing the game. There's also a great comment that I saw on Youngest video saying, well, on uh, what you showed in the video saying that, I know this video is taking a bit longer. This is actually supposed to be shorter than it's shorter. But I just wanted to explain that part. But said that it's like the loot boxes of your, uh, ba of the uh, back in the day. You know what happened when they tried to make loot boxes in the multiplayer where you could basically have to basically, you know, you know, have to basically, if you remember, I think it was called one of the World War Two games, I can't remember, where they tried to do the loot boxes and made you put it in the middle of a game and, and you had no choice but to do it in front of people. There was no way to open it privately. It, it like, yeah, it, no. No, basically, I think that was the comment. I can't remember. You need to look that up, but yeah. No, Activision is trying to push the line right now and we need to be there to stop it, to stop it. And I hope other communities see this and start to help out the Call of Duty community because I know they're not involved in this, but this is a danger to other communities, the, for other gaming communities as well. Because if this succeeds, it's going to be very bad for everybody. Now, I know trying to get the other communities to join in is bad because the bad is not, it's, 
Joy is bad because they basically can't help out as much because they 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 don't usually play this game and pay money in this game because that's the whole point. But even still, other communities should need to bring in their two cents on this because it could be a disadvantage because this could be bad for other communities. Seriously, other communities need to start helping each other out here. We need to start being separated. We need to start helping each other out whenever something like this happens in another game. We every other community needs to join in to help out. I'm getting sick and tired of all these communities not bothering with each other. Like I know it's not your genre, that, and people, but they need to start helping out. And I also hate the fact that people say, "Oh, they should that they're on, from other genres. They should not be involved in this." No, I'm tired of hearing this. Other communities need to help out other communities, and people that think that other communities should not bother with another genre no i've had enough to hear that now i don't know if that's true or not but if people are actively hating other communities for helping out other communities because it's another genre no other communities do now be joining forces in these situations to stop this thing from happening and also people who are playing call of duty please for the love of everything if you're playing this do not spend money on this because even though you have a grievance on this if you spend money on this I'm gonna let you know, like your young ass says, just if you spend, they don't care about feedback because as long as you spend money on the game, you, they will not listen to the feedback. Remember, feedback is good, but Activision only cares about money. Pay with your wallet. Did you give them feedback though, to let them know so they know? That this is bad, so that way when you don't pay for it, they will listen to the feedback even harder. But remember, feedback is good, but if they decide, but if you decide with your wallet that you pay for this, that's a their feedback will not help at all. Remember that. Okay, that's my two cents on this. And I just wanted to let you guys know that this is bad. This is extremely bad. Cosmetics should never have I know it's not that much. I know I didn't provide any more information on my side, but like I said, cause but I just wanted to let you know that at that there that single player you could earn the skins, and that's what I think should be right here. No stats, they have no stats, and you could earn your skins on that one. This one, there is no way to earn these thing skins as far as I know. Even then, I don't want it in the game at all. But paying for them, no. Cosmetics should never have any cause should have and never have any bearing here All right And like I said if you pay for this then you are literally make sure that Activision Kits this into a game and if another company decides to have this then it's gonna be the end I'm, No, I'm like I said I rather play a extremely bad game with bad cosmetics As then play a game then play a good game. That's cosmetics like this. All right. And like I said before, pay with your wallet. Do not pay for this kind of thing. Because like I said, your feedback is important. But if you pay for this, then the feedback means nothing. Because Activision only cares about money. But once you start paying with your wallets, once you start you making sure you don't pay for this, they will start to listen. Remember that. All right, that's about it I have on this. Sorry about that whole freaking, freaking explanation thing, and but I wanted to let you know that that this cosmetics should not have any stats because you can just put them over your armor sets. That is what I think should be. And even though I think freaking Call of Duty would ma, for, yeah, no, actually no, skins are already being used like that for to pay for your skins already. Never mind, never mind, that's already existed. But like I said, I'm able to earn that in Monster Hunter. I'm able to earn skins in Monster Hunter, literally. Earning skins to put over your armor sets that has stats, that's one thing. This is a terrible idea. Cosmetics with stats on them, that's a terrible issue. All right? All right. Sorry, I, I know I'm not explaining good things here, but I just wanted to get my two cents out here. So if you let me know in the comments if you are against this, because of course you need to be against this. If you're okay with this, what the heck are you doing in my comments? No, no, no. If you're with this, then get out of my comments. No, I'm not listening to you. No, no, I, no. I'm not hearing you people. I don't want you to give me an argument why this is good. No. Anybody who I, and also for anybody who's 
against this, please just don't be aggressive. Like I said, as always, be calm. Let them know that this is bad. Use calm words and let the people, let everyone else know that this is a bad thing. All right? And also, like the video if you somehow like enjoyed it. Uh, comment if I forgot any more information on this. Let me know. And also, subscribe to join my dark army. I'm not even going to do my outro as usual because, no, I only do outros on good things. All right? No, no, no. You, no, no. I'm, I'm upset right now, and this does not deserve it. But still, join my dark army. I am the dark ruler. You must do what I say. Anyway, but I'm not doing my outro. Of my outro thing. I'm sad. Either way, press the black bell to be notified whenever my videos pop up. Also, check that bell every once, at least once a day because, like I said, YouTube channel kind of removes that for some reason. So you don't get my videos popping up in your feeds. Or just check out my channel every once in a while during the week to see if I upload it or not. Also, share the video because we need to spread this word. It needs to spread because if we let this happen, then other companies are going to copy this. And I do not want to play a game where another company decides to copy this situation. Right? All right. All right, that's about it. And for right now, my dark minions... No, actually, no. I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing my... I guess I could do part of the outro because my outro is just basically laughing. So, yeah, I'll do my usual thing. So, right now... Yeah, never mind. Not, never mind. I'm not doing my outro. I'm too sad right now. No, heck with it. My dark minions... Dismissed.